Hey, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. I want you to meet Jill, your very own virtual factory floor worker, and her male counterpart, Jack. They're made of pixels, not flesh and blood, so you can tell them to go into tight corners, make risky turns, or lift heavy objects without feeling guilty. You might do that not out of viciousness to your virtual employees, but to better understand whether your machineries and plant floor setup are suitable for real employees. That way you can avoid disasters in advance. The software that I'm running now is called Technomatics Jack. It's a free student license from Siemens PLM software. It comes without some of the more powerful features like ergonomic analysis or human models pre-configured to match average sizes in different population segments. Still, the software gives you a lot of features for a free license. The navigation controls are not instantly obvious, I have to say, especially since I tend to experiment and learn without reading the manual first. At any rate, holding down the control key gives you the option to use your mouse buttons to zoom, pan, and rotate in a scene. A left, right, and middle mouse buttons controls the movement of the objects in up and down direction, left and right, or front and back directions. That comes in handy when you're trying to position or move the human figures or factory objects. Holding down the shift key allows you to rotate your objects in different orientations. The program comes with two standard avatars, male and female, or Jack and Jill by name, and common factory equipment and office furniture, and a library of objects that you can simply drag and drop to build your scene. You can also import your own machine designs in neutral 3D CAD format. JT works best, since it's a format preferred and supported by Siemens PLM software. Once you've got your virtual factory floor fully populated, you can move into the Simulation Task Builder module to create a series of actions Jack or Jill will execute for you. For example, you can tell Jack or Jill to go pick up a monitor and place it on the elevator shaft. There really is no need for programming knowledge to run this software. Simple point and drag action lets you create animation sequences with Jack and Jill performing the task that you want them to do. You can get also into more details if you want to. For example, you can have your avatar take a certain pre-configured path or use a specific posture when performing the designated task. If you want to see Jack or Jill's perspective, you can turn on the eye view, so to speak. That opens up a window showing the avatar's perspective. As your avatar moves, the perspective changes too. So that gives you the ability to understand whether Jill will be able to spot certain machineries that are around her and avoid them, or whether she may be dealing with a blind spot that is dangerous. When you're trying out certain postures or movements, you'll notice that your character behave exactly the way some of the game characters rigged with skeletons and joints behave. For instance, if I drag on Jill's wrist, in order to experiment certain movements, Jill's shoulder and arm respond in an ergonomically sensible way. The purpose of performing these simulations is to understand what these repetitive motions does to a real person so in the commercial full version of the software you can actually see the stress sudden tasks produce on Jack or Jill's body. In the student version you can produce a much simpler kind of report called a time report that shows you how the sequences perform and what happens at each stage in minor details. Software like Technomatics Jack from Siemens have been in use in automotive and aerospace manufacturing for quite some time now. But the release of the free version brings its exposure to a whole new level. It's manufacturing activity simulation designed for the computer game generation, shall we say. But the insights that you get from performing these simulations is applicable in the real world. This is where Technomatic Jacks is different from, say, Tomb Raider's Lara Croft. 
Now granted, Jack and Jill doesn't exactly look pixel perfect and fully textured the way you might be familiar with seeing some of the game characters in first-person shooters, but that may change as personal computers get more powerful in its graphics boosting function. Until next time, this is Kenneth Wong and Jill saying goodbye to you from an assembly line somewhere in a virtual plant.